Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here today to do another first impression and review on uh, a foundation and concealer from the Balm Cosmetics. Um, I did a review and first impression before on another foundation. If you guys are interested in seeing that, I will link that in the description box. So before I go ahead and get into this review, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so for more videos. I do beauty videos and I also vlog, so if you guys are interested in that, make sure this you This is the packaging subscribe. for <laughs> the foundations. So this is the Time Balm foundation from the Balm Cosmetics. And then I got the, fa um, the concealer also. It comes in similar packaging. And yeah, I got the shade Medium Dark. So these are what the products look like. It comes in eight shades, and I have two of them right here. So I have the shade Dark, which is clearly, you know, lighter. And then I have the shade After Dark. Now, I wasn't sure which one to purchase, so I got both of them because I'd never seen them before. And the concealer comes in sim similar packaging, but, you know, a lot smaller, obviously. And I got the shade Medium Dark, and this is the one I am using today. So like I said, these are the products I am wearing on my face today. So if you guys are interested to see how it applied and my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. So these are the foundations right here. Um, I have two shades here, so I have Dark, and then I have After Dark right here. So, I'm not entirely sure which one to pick. Um, I think I'll go with After Dark. Just because it seems more like, you know, my skin tone. Oh my gosh, these airplanes are killing me, you guys. Okay, so... Uh, damn it. <laughs> um, I just put lotion on my hands, so this is going to be... A bitch to take. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Am I even going to be... Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I opened it. Let's see. So it comes with this sponge right here. And the product is right here. So I'm not entirely sure how to apply it. I mean, the box doesn't really give you any instructions or anything. Um... I mean, it has writing on the inside, let's see. Nope, no instructions. So, I don't know. I mean, I never use foundations like this, so let's just, I guess let's just use the sponge that it comes with, and then I'll spread it out with the beauty blender, I guess. So. Uh, okay. I guess I just use a sponge. I'm just like swirling it in here like this and then I'm just gonna apply it on my skin because otherwise I don't know how else to put it on. Okay. So it feels like it's applying really smoothly like it's covering a lot. Do you guys see that? Okay, I was not expecting this to work like this. So far, I'm really impressed. Okay, so I'm just going in again, swirling it about, and then I'm going to go on my forehead. It doesn't feel like creamy or... Oh, I hate the sound. Do you guys hear the sound of that? I hate the sound of that that's making. Um... It doesn't really feel creamy. To me, it feels like you're applying kind of like a powder foundation with a sponge. But, I'm really freaking impressed with this coverage, though. Alright. Alright, so let me just try to up that in with the Beauty Blender. Okay. 
Okay. You guys, this is really, really freaking impressive. It blended in so easily. So because it works so well and, you know, the sponge comes with it, I was actually going to do, like, a brush on the other side, but I don't really want to, I don't know, like, dip it in. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going with the sponge because it's working and that's what it comes with. So let's just do the other face, the other side. Okay, so I have to pause right now because I am, like, really shook right now because... I don't know what I was expecting because I haven't seen reviews of this foundation before, but I definitely was not expecting this because I've never used like foundations and tins or anything like this, like pots. And I am, this is, wow, <laughs> like one swipe of this, it's like full coverage, it's like covering everything. And it's so easy to blend. I am shook. And yeah, after dark, works best. I'm just going to bring that down my neck a little bit to make it match a little better. And it feels so natural. Like, you know how you, when you have full coverage foundations on, you can usually tell that you have a foundation on your skin? This feels so lightweight. I honestly don't feel anything on my face. Like, it feels like I have nothing on my face. Just my skin and, like, you know. It's luminous, but I don't know. It just, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I'm loving it! I'm shook. I'm shook! Okay, you guys, so I love this so far. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to the concealer. So the concealer is basically the same idea as the foundation. When you open it, it has a little sponge in there also. So I'm just going to do, you know, the same thing with the sponge again. And this is in the shade medium dark. Okay, so let's, I'm just going to dip in, dip the sponge in there, swirl it a little bit. Apply it under my eyes. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna dab it and see how that goes. I'm not sure about this little ass sponge. <laughs> like, look at how small it is. Uh, Alright, maybe I will glide it and see. I'm just gonna apply it like this. Under the eyes, and then I'm gonna use the beauty blender and see. Alright, so <laughs> I'm having a little bit of trouble here. I am so far not that impressed with it, especially after how the foundation performed. The concealer is I'm having a little bit of an issue right now because it's pretty blotchy. I don't know, I'm just not liking this as much as I do the foundation, but let me just go ahead and do the other eye and see. Not as flawless as the um, foundation, definitely. Um, it's starting to crease underneath my eyes, and it's like building up around my nose and everything. I'm going to just set this with my go-to Holy Grail setting under eye setting powder, which is the Balm Sexy Mama. So hopefully that keeps it from creasing and building up a little more. And then I'm going to set the foundation with the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless because it is, you know, more dewy and I do have oily skin, so I need to set that. Alright guys, so it's all set. Um... I'm really liking the way this foundation is looking. Um, the concealer, I feel like from afar it looks fine, but when you get up close you can see that it's kind of blotchy. It's just blotchy and it like builds up and shit. I'm going to finish off my makeup 
and then I'm gonna come back on camera and let you guys know um, how the rest of the makeup applied and what I think of it and yeah so the foundation stayed put I mean it didn't move while I was applying the products everything blended out nicely like it's supposed to um, the foundation still feels really light on my skin like I don't even feel like I have anything on my face really um, I do notice that where I applied the concealer and the foundation like around my nose as usual is starting to uh, like separate and build up a little bit but so far I mean it's looking nice it feels nice it looks good it's not a matte finish I mean it never claimed to be a matte finish it's more of a natural slash dewy satin I don't know how many more adjectives could I use to <laughs> describe this but yeah you guys can see the finish of, of the foundation of my skin if you are my skin tone I would definitely recommend you get after dark because that was a pretty good match for me I mean yeah so anyway it is 336 right now I have a memo going on but I will check back in later oh and before I go I forgot to say um, when I was putting the rest of my found it, uh, the rest of my makeup on I realized that I did not apply any primer before I tried the foundation so just keep that in mind because normally when I wear foundation I do apply a f uh, primer beforehand so I don't know what happened I just forgot about the primer So guys, it's been about seven hours since I have applied the foundation and concealer and <laughs> I just, I cannot believe the way I'm looking right now. <laughs> yeah, I just look really oily. <laughs> like, look at my forehead. <laughs> when you get up close, it's just like, no, nope, nope, nope nope I feel like the areas that I applied just the foundation and not the concealer are okay but the areas where I applied concealer on top of the foundation are just a horrible mess my nose is just completely disgusting like it just looks so horrible up close I would be so ashamed to be talking to someone so close to me like if someone was standing right here and we're having a face-to-face -face conversation I would I would be so self-conscious because under eyes are completely creased and just like blotchy nose is blotchy forehead like where I applied the foundation is just like a mess I mean the concealer is just a mess I don't know if it's because of the foundation or if it's because of the concealer but due to the fact that the areas that are a mess right now are only the areas where I applied the concealer on top of the foundation I feel like the concealer is just a complete no because every other spot where it's just like the foundation it's completely fine granted I never usually have problems here but I just want to show you guys something. Um, this foundation transfers very easily because I went shopping and I was trying on sunglasses and I, it was just transferring onto the sunglasses so easily and that never usually happens to me. It just transfers so easily and it's just like so oily when you transfer. Do you guys see that? You see how easily it comes off? Wow. I'm just going to apply some NYX blotting mattifying powder on top just to see how it goes with touch ups. So after applying some powder on top just to try to mattify it a little bit, I mean I feel like it looks a little better from afar. It's not as reflective as it was before. It's more like what my skin would be like, not so shiny. Um, I actually like the finish right now but still close up the nose and the under eye area and like over the lip area is just not very good what is these <coughs> okay so my thoughts on this foundation I feel like it would bring just the right amount of moisture if you have dry skin so 
with dry skin, definitely. Like if I had dry skin, this would be definitely one of my go-tos because it is beautiful. For oily girls, if you don't mind touching up, then go ahead and buy this. Me, I would say that I'm happy that I purchased this. I mean, I don't mind touching up every couple hours, so I'm definitely going to wear it again. I was so impressed with it the first time I put it on my face, like, earlier, because it just kind of blew me away, because it covered so much in just, like, one swipe. <laughs> it was, like, completely full coverage right away, and it was easy to blend and buildable, and I really liked it. So the foundation is a complete yes for me. As for the concealer, I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm going to say about this concealer. Definitely no for this con concealer. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think of this review in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys have tried this. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys next time. <laughs> Why are, you, why are you wearing my robe? Well, what am I supposed to wear? Some clothes? The fuck? Okay. Well, I'm gonna go lie down.